Hey guys, Skunk here. In today's video we're going to take a look at the TALDs and the F14 and we're going to use them against a SAM site we have set up. But first I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who has stopped in to leave a like or a comment or even subscribed. It's, it's awesome. Um, the people who have come over from Twitch, it's been great to get to know you. You know, we talk about DCS or mechanics or cars, anything basically. Some of you might not know, I used to be a full-time mechanic who built drift cars and taught people how to drift. I used to run a racetrack and now I've fallen in love with software engineering and DCS. So that is what I'm doing now and I'm trying to make these videos to give back to you guys because this community has been so supportive. But anyway, let's get into it. Alright guys, now we're in the 14, let's take a look at these TALDs, what they are and how we can use them. This is going to be a really quick tutorial in terms of deploying them, but what we're going to focus on today is the thought process and the technique in using them because they're very, very effective when used right and they can be used wrong and then they're basically useless. So let's start off with what they are. These are the TALDs underneath the 14 right here, the big white things. These are basically gliders that are decoys for any edit ground targets. And obviously this is only really used for uh, air to ground and they're very good at uh, masking your approach. You can use them as a solo pilot by yourself or if you have a wingman, uh, possibly an 18 that has some harms, you want to mask his approach so he can get a clean shot on the um, target area there. This is a really, really good use case. And like I said, it's going to be very, very quick. Um, in terms of learning how to deploy them, but we'll walk through the thought process and then at the end of the video I'll go through a demo where I approach the SAM, sh uh, approach the SAM site, deploy them, take the SAM site out and you can kind of see how I do it as a solo player. I tend to go a little bit low and let the TALDs mask my approach. Now we want to make sure our speed is up and we want to make sure we have a good altitude because like I said these are gliders so we need to turn the master arm on and make sure we're in air to ground then once that symbology has changed and we can ask Jester to change us over to the TALDs there you go your pipper will disappear and the only other thing you need to do after that is hit the stores release to be able to deploy them there goes one and he just glides. So as you can see, he's dropping quite a lot, which is why we need to be up nice and high and have that uh, speed up. Because he doesn't have any energy of his own, only what we give him. And we need him to have the best chance at getting over the target area. So the same site takes interest in him instead of me. Now as soon as you let one go, you want to turn cold. I turn quite hard just to make sure that that TALD is out in front of me and the lead target for the ground now as we kind of go parallel to our target area we wait a bit and we want to turn back in and that's when we want to release another one in different scenarios you might want to hold on to your second TALD tweet a little bit closer or just on a vastly different angle but if you kind of cut a angle and then come back in to release the second one then it just gives you a better coverage for your approach so we've got two of the TALDs away and in terms of deployment that's it that's as easy as it is they are going to glide towards the target area but what we'll do is we'll cut away to the demonstration and you can see them in full action against the SAM site alright let's go alright let's get straight into it master I'm on uh, I want to set my air to ground up and get these TALDs selected because we are already starting to get painted Copy. and so I've got those selected there you can see the symbology change and I'm gonna let one go and then break Sorry, off to the left right in front of us, because I want that first TALD to go quite far ahead of me so I'm turning hard cold and I'm gonna drop down my altitude as well because I'm quite high I think I'm around 25,000 so I want to come down quite a bit and lose a bit of altitude what I'll do is I'll turn back onto the target and start to think about releasing a second TALD and I think I'll do that about now so that's another one away and we'll do a little bit of a 
roll and drop way down Shit, onto the deck. And let those TA, you, you can see that first one's been launched on. So that's the TALDs doing their work. Copy. Here we go. You can see Missile, that first Hot. missile is Three out. Right. And we are so far so good in the clear. But what I want to do is I just want to keep a low profile while these um, ground targets start to launch. Yeah, launch the second one on the other TALD. But you can already see how impressive it is to have some decoys kind of covering your way in. It's super, super valuable. And look, you can see I am scooting along the water there while this other missile comes out. Now you got to check your speed a little bit, you don't want to be going too fast because obviously you still got to hit your marks, hit your numbers when you're wanting to drop the bombs. We've got the high drag so we don't have to worry too much about the uh, the angle and the speed. You can still hit with relative accuracy by flying a little bit straighter than you definitely normally would. And with a little bit more speed it's not too bad. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop up over these buildings and I should be in clear view of the SAM site. And there it is. So yeah, just double checking speeds are quite slow so I can pick it up, which is good because I want to be on the burners on my way out of there. And we'll get this lined up. And they are <laughs> launching as I'm flying over. So I'm going to just drop as many as I can, hopefully hitting my marks. That's quite a cool shot, and I think that's okay. I'm not 100% confident on that. What I'll do is I'll come around, I'll do a gun run, and just make sure I've got it all cleaned up down there, because these, these SAM sites are pretty tough um, to get everything cleaned up. So we'll come back around. We'll definitely hit something down there. We've got a missile out, but that is non-threat. A sick one. I don't think that second one's for me for some reason because that was that was going quite high. Third one out. Yes. A unit in there that's just lit them off. So I think I got him, but we'll come back around. Let's do a double check. Yeah, he's up. He's, he's burning. So we'll just take out the other SA-10. Come in and clean that up. A little bit messy, but we hit our marks. And you see that little pool where we're coming down quite quick, and then we flatten off. Uh, you just you don't pull on the stick too much. You pull back a bit and you re you relax it. The nose spikes up, and then the aircraft almost uh, cushions itself against the ground. Um, and that's that's how I that's how I do gun runs. I don't know if that's technically accurate, but that is how I do it in the 14. So we'll just come through and clean up these other guys. And yeah, okay, we take a little bit of a tag, but that's right. We're in 14. Flying fortress. Anyway, guys, that is it. That is how you use the TALDs in a scenario like this. If you are using them with a uh, wingman, obviously. A little bit more effective you don't have to put yourself in so much danger but you can see how easy and then how effective these can uh, how easy it is to deploy them and how effective these can be given the right circumstances and the right technique in deploying them so appreciate you guys thank you very much and we'll catch you next time